Uh, all right, welcome to tutorial uh, chapter one, tutorial eight. <clears throat> so we're going to have a serious talk today. It's about pointers. So this is a little bit more complicated. This is a C, C++ concept. So let's dive right into it. Uh, we're going to, to erase everything we had there. And uh, also we're going to start cleaning up here a little bit. We're going to keep uh, Eero and IO stream. And let's start with the basics. So remember we have a variable a5, which is an int. All right, so we can output this a equal a and nine. All right, and remember we add uh, references. So we were passing them by functions, but you can just uh, you can just set them like this too. So b is a reference on a. All right, so I can output b equal and the value should be the same as a in this case. So let, let's just test that quickly. Yep, they're both set to five. And then if I modify three, you should see b change also because you know it's it's a reference. It's 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 basically the same thing as putting b here and uh, a here uh, everywhere instead of b. All right, so b a got changed and b kind of reference with. So you can say this is kind of a pointer, you know, like B points on A, but uh, well, it is a pointer like under the hood, but but this this here is just a reference and it's a little bit simpler to understand. So let's, let's put our separator. Now we're going to see pointers. All right, so every variables, right, is in the memory somewhere. And uh, there's an address at that memory. Right, the address can be 2001, so that's the 2001th byte, you know, from the beginning of your memory chip. All right, and and A is in there, so you, there's a way to to output the address of something. All right, so if you want the address of A, you write it like this. So in this case, here after the type, this is me. This means a reference, but when you put it in front of a variable like that, it say A. Give me the address of A. So where where is the A value actually stored in the memory, basically? All right. So if I output this, you're going to see address of A, and you see some kind of hexadecimal number because those are really big numbers, and they're represented in hexadecimal. It makes them a little bit easier to to read. So so yeah. So and and this is a 32-bit uh, program. Right. See, so if it was a 64-bit program, this will basically be twice bigger. Basically, so there's more addressing. You can allocate more memory in your program if it's a 64-bit program. All right. So, okay. So, how can I actually store that address? I want to store it like like I was storing a reference in B. I can store an address somewhere. So, how you do it? You use the little multiply sign after. So, using m percent, it means it's a reference. Using a uh, multiply a star this means it's a pointer right so c equal that give, give me the address of a and store it in c so c is now basically just an address it's it's not a value it's an address on an end value that is somewhere in the memory right so if, if i do this and i just output c all right so technically c shall point to the same address yeah Right, it's it's just an address, and I, I can do maths on it. Like I can increment c by one, and if I put c again, well, you'll see it got it got up by four actually, because an integer is thirty-two bits, so it's four bytes, right? So if, if you increment it, it's going to go up for for the next int in memory. So this is this is very powerful. Like you can have things that follows each other in memory and just uh, increment. The, the pointers like this. All right, so now we want to want, we want to know what's the content of C. Right? It, it, it's good to have a pointer and then you you move it around in the program everywhere and and eventually you kind of actually want to to see what's the value inside because that's the whole point, right? So what you do is just do star in front. So same same way as we were getting the address star is basically the inverse you go get the content of it right. 
so this show technically output three yeah content of c is three all right so that that's pointers in in four lines of code uh the concept itself is not complicated it's, it's when you start having a bunch of them and then pointers of pointers it can start getting confusing uh but yeah we'll try to not make too many things like this in our tutorials uh all right so ne next things okay it's okay to access it to but can i actually modify it yeah it's the same way i can set it to 10 now all right so after so i go modify the, the content of where c points and point c uh, c points on a uh, the, 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 the point on the, the the address of the content of a so basically if i output a next a should have changed to 10. all right so you have to think in terms of memory and the address the pointer is the address on the memory and and i can literally like go get the you know if i put two star and i can go get the uh, the address of the address you know it, it, it it can get complicated but sometimes you might want to do things like this so see this is a totally different address but it's actually the address on c where which it's old it's holding an address on a right so you can you can have pointer pointer you can stack them as many as you want basically all right but let's let's not do this right now it's it's a bit complicated all right, so now how, how does that work in our uh, like hero class? So it's the same thing. Remember we had a hero, so let's call it pub. And we did hero that print. Let's make sure this still works. Pub has 100 health. And all right, so we can see, we can go get the address of heroes. Same thing we did with A. And the address of hero is this memory address. You will see that they're kind of following each other a little bit. 37FC and something else. Uh, yeah, because basically C++ will try to allocate memory, you know, well, it's not C++, that, that is the OS level that basically gives you the memory where, where to uh, allocate it. Not in this case, because this is on the stack, so it will always follow each other on the stack. But uh, yeah, let's 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 not get into this. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right. So then you can have a pointer. So I'm going to represent pointers with a p in front. All right. So it's like if here I was doing p of a and c. You you're going to see that syntax often in uh, C C++ programs. Uh, it makes things a little bit simpler. And and go get the address of hero. Right, so now we have a pointer on this hero. So this is cool because you can have pointers. Uh, let's say in your class, you have a pointer on on the current target and enemy, right? So you can keep a reference because reference is really like kind of a constant static way of doing it. Uh, but you can have a pointer on, on an enemy and you just affect it like this. And after that, your hero will always track that enemy. Uh, we'll talk later in the next tutorial about memory management because you kind of want to set that pointer back to null, right? Later on. So, all right. So let's let's print the let's print hero. All right. So this should give us the address, which is the same as up there. All right. Same test we were doing out there. And next we want to call the print function on it all right so how we do that well we can follow the same logic as here so let's put a separator here we will follow the same logic as here you know this p hero dot print right so i put it in parentheses because i don't think this would work yeah exactly uh, so hey give me the content of hero and print on it so this is one way of doing it uh, you see it's printing here and there's a shortcut way of doing it in C++ so you don't have to write that thing every time it's p hero and instead of a dot 
you do a little arrow like that, dash and grid assign. Right, so that basically tells you, uh, is the same way as accessing it like this. Uh, so you want to, to go get uh, the scope of the arrow. So what's the arrow pointing to? Print. It's the same syntax as doing this. Right? Bob has 100 health. So I think that I made it simple. Uh, remember, remember if you have questions, whatever, my email is in the description. Uh, but this is pointers in a nutshell. And next we're going to talk a little bit about uh, memory management, uh, how to allocate new new stuff because let's say you 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 cast a fireball, well you need to allocate that fireball somehow. I mean, you need to create a new a new game object, a new entity. So we're going to see that in the next tutorial before jumping into the graphics on the next chapter. Thanks for watching.